Racial profiling and police brutality have become a source of tension between minorities and police in America in recent years. Incidents involving police violence caught on camera and the use of social media have raised awareness of the horrors of police brutality in the United States. The event Beyond Knowing Your Rights began with a prayer taking the phrase Faith and justice walk together to the heart. We've always been connected to the struggle uh, during Anthony Bias. Many of the rallies were done in this place. Uh, Amit Diallo, Sean Bell. Recently, we had a rally here at the corner with several churches for Eric Gardner. So we've always been connected to the struggle. We believe faith and justice walk together. Say amen. We, the Justice Committee, my organization, um, helped Iris Bias put on this event. And what she really wanted was an opportunity for the family members um, and other community members to uh, ask some questions to lawyers. So, you know, this system, the processes are like super, super complicated. When families lose someone um, and then they try to get justice, all this stuff happens. No one really knows what's going on. So, I, you know, she just wanted... Um, she wanted an opportunity uh, to have families be able to address questions to lawyers. Because we need, we need, we need to know, we need to know, um, you know, how the system works. And if this is this is one night here that we're going to uh, start ha ha having these kind of um, dialogues, so that we could educate each other. If there's anything to be learned from this event, it's that there's a lot of work to be done in order to create a fair and just criminal justice system. We have to go to Albany and change policies. We have to go to the precinct and show them that um, that's our precinct. We have to go to their meeting because we have a voice in the precincts. Every month there's a precinct that has a meeting about the community, let them know what's going on, but we want to know what's going on in the in the precinct. We want to know how many arrests certain officer makes and our complaints are being brought to that precinct. Today's my son, tomorrow could be them. So they need to speak up. It can't happen to you because he got killed in his own home by NYPD. The person that was supposed to most protect him did this. He is no longer here to prove it is innocent. So it, now I become his voice. I have to fight for justice for him and justice for Molly is not just as just for Romali, it's justice for everybody, and everybody that didn't get any justice for their loved ones. They should follow, watch the, at watch the cops, and email us at info at justicecommittee.org. We are happy to help plug people in. There's lots and lots We of must love each other and protect each other. We must, we must love each other and protect each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains.